exciting. The, the off season is an exciting time for for, for us, us as players, really, because it gives us an opportunity to step back, maybe assess, you know, as a team, what some of the things that we didn't do so well last year, and look project forward to the end of this year, and, and think about what we want to achieve by the end of the season. So, the last few months have been occupied by not only thinking about that, but then training and our actions towards being a better side this year. And you know, I think that's been. But probably the most positive part of our off season is there's a clear improvement upon where we were at this stage last year, uh, so that that's exciting in itself. And, you know, the start to last year's season was maybe a bit of a, a tough one for Saints compared to, to recent years. Um, do you think that preparation is going to make a change to that, and you guys will be able to kick on from the from the first round? Yeah, no, I think we obviously we've got a, a tough fixture this this year at Warrington and. Uh, you know they're one of the form sides over the last two or three years. Uh, you know in Super League, so that'll be a tough game. Obviously, last two seasons ago, or last season, sorry, we, we got uh, caught out by Huddersfield, who had had a big off season. I think they'd really focused on improving, it, you know, in all areas, and ultimately came out as the league lead shield league leaders league. <laughs> right, <we're, laughs> league leaders shield winners uh, last year. So. Um, you know, we're, we're well aware that the first game of the season's, uh, I think, psychologically a really important point for, for all teams. Um, and uh, we, we're well aware how important it is to start well, and, and, and we need to do that. You mentioned the Giants there. They went on you know, a fantastic season last year, and it all started, but you know, off season, they, they really strengthened that pack and, and had a, a good off season, like you mentioned. There's some big bodies that, that Saints have brought in this year. How exciting has it been, sort of building up with those guys and, and getting to know that some of those guys playing around you in that pack? Yeah, I think obviously, we, in terms of uh, our size, I think we, we, we have um, a much bigger side this year than we had last year. And they're not probably off the back of that. We've got a halfback. You know, we've got a genuine halfback, which, uh, as, a, as a player, you know, I love the game, study the game. You know, Luke Walsh is. is for me, almost exciting signing because of the way he understands the game. With, you know, the forwards and, and the likes of Mossy and so these huge fellas who are, are, are going to be, you know, outstanding for us. But but Luke Walsh is exciting for me and all the intricate parts of the game that he's going to bring to us. Something that we've probably lacked for a number of years, if we're, if we're really honest. You know, we've we lost the likes of Kyle Eastman, Matty Smith, Sean Long, and probably haven't replaced those until now. And, and, and Luke Walsh is first genuine halfback we've had for for a while now. And, you know, excited about playing with him. Some of the players around him that he's, you know, going to put those key passes into. There's, it's a young backline now. I mean, I don't know what the average age is, but it must be early twenties. With, with someone, you know, of his, his experience down there in the NRL, and, and we mentioned the big pack. It, it, it looks like a real exciting year for Saints. Yeah, I think one thing you look at with the squad is, is balance, and, and I think this, this squad that we've got this year has got a good balance. We've got a big squad as well. I think we. Uh, that, how the depth of our squad really got tested last year. We had so many injuries in, in, in different positions, you know. And one of the probably the, the big things to come out of last year was that we had a lot of young guys who have a lot of experience in this coming into this season, which we really wouldn't have expected those guys to have. Uh, a lot of those are the backs. You look at Adam Swift, Tommy Makerson, uh, Jordan Turner, who's vastly experienced, but you know got a really solid season at centre under his belt. Josh Jones. Mark Percival, these kind, kinds of players who have probably at this stage in their career, Jordan Turner, probably exempt from that, who's been going for a while, have, have probably played a lot more games than they would have, you know, probably thought they would have, and, and that gives them some some great experience and and also, you know, it gives them confidence. They know what the job's all about, and going into this year, I expect, you know, a couple of those guys to really kick on and start knocking on England's door, and, and that's what we need as a club to start producing more players who are the best players in their position in this country. And you know, I think that's the key to the success. If you look at Wigan and, and at Leeds over the last few years, Warrington, you know, they've consistently produced young players who are the best players in their position, and, and that's what we need to do. As one of the more experienced heads in the team now, do you enjoy that side of the game, sort of bringing those guys through and, and you know, sort of coaching them in training almost as well, alongside them on the training path? Yeah, I really enjoy. I enjoy being a more experienced uh, member of the squad. I think throughout your career, you, you you sort of learn things, take things on, and and I'd probably say you know that all these things start to make sense and all come together. At, um, sort of later in your career so 
I think what I help to do is, is give the, the lads in, in a similar position to me maybe a, a more rounded perspective on what's expected of them as a, as a player within our team. But you know the more technical aspects of the game uh, and whether they listen to me or not is, is something different. Uh, but yeah, and no, I, I I enjoy that that role of being a more experienced guy. Um, and I think one of the best best things that I could probably offer the younger players is that I'm I'm just competitive, fiercely competitive in, in everything I do, and, and and that's what I, you know I try and probably impress upon them more than anything. Talking about the, the season last year and a few injuries and people filling in, you moved around that that park a bit, a few different positions. Uh, are you hoping to to stick to to the, to the role in the second row this year? Yeah, no, look, throughout my career, I think consistently, you know, I can't think of a season, barring one or two, where I haven't been, you know, asked to move and play a few different positions. Um, it's something I actually enjoy, you know, I do enjoy the challenge of, of playing a few roles. I'd rather be settled in one position, but when you're part of a team, you know, there's a sacrifice, a personal sacrifice and a commitment that you make as an individual to the team at the start of the year. And, and that sacrifice is, look, if something's not the best for me, but it's the best for the team, I'll do it. And I've always subscribed to that theory. You know, St Helens as a club, this, this team means more to me than just my own personal uh, satisfaction and, and, and my own personal gain. It's, this team goes on, it carries on, the history of the team continues and, and I'm just blessed to, that my path crossed with the team for this amount of time and during that time I made a commitment when I was younger to do whatever I can to, to help the cause and, and, and part of that's been sacrificed maybe on a personal level to play a number of positions through the year and if, if that's needed this year I'll do it again and I'll do it without question, without hesitation and do it with you know, as much intensity and passion and uh, and with as much skill as I can. You mentioned all, you know, through your career you've played with some some great teams here, some of the players on the board behind you as well. Um, where do you think this side can can fit in alongside those yeah. those great squads? I think it's, I'm not a big fan of projecting about where this team sits in, in, in relative to the history of our club or you know relative to other teams in the competition because it it's just a futile exercise. You know I've, I've I've heard people probably talk themselves up beyond where they're at in, in prior to the season starting. I've heard teams play down their chances when everybody's thinking they've got a chance. So I think the only way to really assess where we're at is is 10 weeks into the year. Uh, I think round 10 is a good sign of where you're at. And we get to round 10 and we're doing well. I think then we'll be at a stage to maybe say where we're at in, in terms of this competition. and. and you know what our chances are of, of picking up some silverware. I remember last year coming down and doing the media day, and everyone had talked about sort of the hunger for silverware at the club because it's been a, a few years since we picked up a trophy. Here. Um, is, is that you know burning a, a, as brightly as ever? You know, new guys coming in, maybe not fully understanding the history of the club. Is it is it still real burning there to go and get that silverware th throughout the squad? Yeah, I think that you, you know it's a, it's a good question. Is is that because because the longer that you go without silverware, that that the, the memory of, of what it feels like to to get to the big games and win trophies, it, it, it's it's becoming a, a more distant memory, and, and there's fewer people in the team who've. You know, who've, who've uh, felt those emotions and you know the euphoria that comes with with winning a trophy in our setup. So the challenge for you know Nathan and, and the senior guys is to remind this squad about what it means to play for this club and, and what it means to be involved in big games and how we get to those big games and, and keep reigniting that flame to want to get to the big games and win trophies. And, and it's been too long, you know, for me as a player for, for the club. You know, and, and would like to win some silverware, but there's a million details between now and, and, and picking up a trophy. And, um, I think it, it, it's culturally important for us to to just remind the, the guys who are coming into this setup about how important success is to this club and how important getting success back is going to be over the next few years. Yeah.